Hi everybody, my name is Gideon and I'm also known as Gideon's Light. I'm a certified creatively fit coach and life coach and uh, recently I did a clarity session on my Creative Heart group on Facebook and this clarity session was really centered around uh, having more clarity and focus for 2021 and also how to use uh, your imagination as a paintbrush for creating a different reality to the one where you maybe are entrapped in worry and in concern and things like that. So in that session I promised that we will be painting an arrow and uh, I already did the underpainting in a previous video of mine. You can just check out my videos. The video is entitled How to Break in a Blank Canvas and uh, I'm going to be painting this arrow session today so that I can show you how you can use this painting made easy methodology uh, and method to create this beautiful and very simple and easy to do project. So I just really used my um, paint and a palette knife and I've also just used a normal plain piece of chalk like this to draw the outline of my arrow and uh, I'm going to be swinging my camera around and um, just demonstrating to you how you can be painting your own arrow uh, with your own little mantra of focus and intention for 2021 painted on the arrow. So I'll see you at the canvas real soon. Right, so for this project I've got my water and I've got some brushes and I've got some acrylic paint. So I've got Mars Black, Titanium White, Cadmium Yellow, uh, Naples Yellow, Cadmium Red, Granacridum Magenta, I've got Phalo Green and I've got Cobalt Blue and we're just going to play with these colors and uh, really create a very simple uh, but fun painting here. So I'm going to be using um, just a fine round brush to just bring in my um, outline a little bit better and I'm just um, adding a bit of water to my Mars Black here to improve its flow. And then I'm just going to basically paint the outline of my arrow for myself because this is just chalk so it will just disappear as we paint so that's just a very simple way to just begin to lay your design block your design on your canvas because it's easy to correct any mistakes that you make that you feel you want to change because you can just erase it and in this very easy you know painting methodology that I use you can go to my Facebook group it's called the creative heart I will pop in a link below and you can join us there because on my group I basically teach you how to do this very creative and easy method of painting and uh, if you are one of those folks that believe that painting is for artists that you need to be gifted and talented uh, and you need to know how to paint in order to paint I'm here to tell you a different story I'm here to tell you that we are all born creative and it is more about creativity than it is about artistic technique or skill artistic technique and skills are 
um, taught. It is something that you learn. It is a class you can attend or a school or a course you can do and you can learn technique. Anybody can do this. Um, obviously, there are gifted people that have incredible um, artistic um, insight just naturally. But uh, that is not what this is about. As a creative coach, I'm here to show you that creativity is part of your human DNA. It's part of your human makeup. So that is exciting. And I'm here to show you how you can embrace that and... Uh, really begin to explore the canvas in a very powerful and tangible way like that so that is easy to do it's not hard at all so i'm just going to bring a little bit of my black to my cobalt blue here and i'm just going to work in my arrow and I'm just using a flat brush here So to con continue my conversation that I'm having with you guys, as a creatively fit coach, I'm here to remind you that we are all creative. We are all artists when we are young, when we enjoy coloring in and we enjoy drawing and we have no shame around our artwork and uh, we show it to everybody at every opportunity we get and then somewhere along the line we put the crayons down and we engage with our schooling system that has removed creative development from the curriculum which is so sad so because it's not part of your education anymore you sort of expect it maybe on one side to continue doing your creative development on your own which is which is fine but I find that we get so busy as we grow up with all kinds of demands that is made in our time sport and projects and studying for exams and cramming useless information into our minds that really is completely irrelevant and serves absolutely no purpose to our education and preparing us for life I and mean, that is a personal opinion so um, really I feel that creative expression and development should never have been removed from the school curriculum because this is essentially what we need right now as a humanity, isn't it? To think outside the box, to find solutions for our problems and our challenges. We are not going to find it in the way that we did things up until now. We're going to find it by thinking differently, thinking creatively. And... Um, our creative thinking is so underdeveloped that we just follow the herd like a bunch of sheep and we just continue to do what everyone else is doing because it's popular on Instagram and uh, we will never find solutions to our environmental or social or political uh, economical problems by thinking like we um, like we thought and that's how we got here in the first place so how is that going to change anything right so by engaging in a creative practice you are opening a dialogue with your right brain and you begin to think outside the box and you begin to experience a new way of looking at things and you begin to feel inspired and you see new possibilities and uh, 
you activate your imagination in in ways that you never thought possible before and that is profound and that is what this creative process for me is all about is really opening up to that possibility within and then to take those possibilities and implement it on the outside I think our Western minds are very when we talk about art we are very product orientated uh, it has to be a product in the end that you can sell that has um, monetary value and if it doesn't then why bother and I'm here to say no that's the old way of thinking that's a very Western way of thinking it should really be more about the process because in getting into the process of art making you are shifting your vibration in an incredible easy way I've heard so many people say I would like to meditate but uh, I can't sit still for five minutes uh, I don't know how to do that it's not for me and yet it is proven that art making really has exactly the same results in your mind than meditation you switch from your logical thinking left brain into your creative thinking right brain and you become more present being present is where awareness becomes part of your experience and when you are aware then you begin to see where changes need to happen in your habits in your behavior and you begin to see solutions to maybe some of the challenges worries concerns and problems that you're dealing with that you need to find a creative solution for and in a way that is equivalent to a, a level of enlightenment isn't it that aha moment when the light bulb goes on is another form of enlightenment when wisdom is able to step in because I think we have a society that celebrates um, uh, knowledge far more than we celebrate wisdom and I think we've been lacking wisdom in our world wouldn't you agree with me it's something that we are sorely missing in our society it's more wisdom and when you plug into your right brain you have free and automatic instant access to wisdom because your higher consciousness is wise your ego personality only knows what it's learned from past behaviors and past experiences but your infinite mind that is connected through your right brain has access to all wisdom of all time instantaneously and that really is what somebody that is meditating has instant access to I'm here to show you that a simple creative practice like creating art like this can have the same mindfulness benefits and it can change your life in profound ways so I'm gonna pause the video and uh, I'm gonna speed things up and uh, then I will get back to you at the end when I've completed my painting